Hi folks, welcome to Bart Makes Things. Today, I'm starting a big musical instrument project. Bart Makes Things! It is my considered opinion that we need more weird instruments in the world. I've made a hexachord. I've made two of them. Now it's time to start on another ridiculously ambitious, self-playing musical instrument. This one will be percussion. I was at the Hackaday four-year anniversary party at a pub in Pasadena and brainstorming some musical instrument ideas. I've been really into platonic solids lately. And then my friend Alex said the magic word, dodecahedrum. Probably 85% of my plans will change before it's done. But here's my basic starting idea that I modeled up in Fusion 360. The frame will be, obviously, a dodecahedron, a 12-sided shape constructed of pentagons. And on each side will be a different drum head or other percussive element. I'll be experimenting with different ways of making those drum heads, including finally trying out that ply drum mold that I made a few months back. I want to try a number of different materials for the drum heads. There are 12 sides, no need to limit myself. I want to find out what differences I can hear between your usual round drum shell and a pentagonal one made in a similar fashion. I'm thinking that my best bet will be to get at least most of the drum in an actual functioning state before I add the guts. See, this isn't just an instrument that you can play, it's an instrument that can play itself, and someday, that can play along with you. I don't know about you, but I only have two hands, and my understanding is that that's above average. To make up for this, I'll have electronics that can play each face hiding in the interior. I'll be doing some testing for this too, since noise is a factor, and the servos on my hexachord are just really loud. So I'll try different servos, as well as stepper motors and perhaps solenoids. For my first version, I may use an Arduino, but in the end, it'll probably move to Raspberry Pi to handle all the learning and processing. There's more. Drumstick mechanisms, and sensors, and maybe lights, possibly magnets, and definitely testing out the many ways that I can modify drum hardware. It'll probably be just a bit under two feet tall. It's a big project. I'm excited. You ready? If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how to's. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.